In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the square root of a number by factoring. So let's say that we want to find the square root of 1,444. How can we do this? Well, first, let's break down this number into smaller numbers. If we divide 1444 by 2, we're going to get half of 14 is 7, half of 44 is 22. So we get 722. And then if we divide 722 by 2, half of 72 is 36, half of 2 is 1, we get 361. And hopefully you know your perfect square is up to 20. 19 squared is 361, so we could break up 361 as 19 times 19. So now what we need to do is collect what we have here. So 1444 is equal to 19 times 19 times 2 times 2, which we can write as 19 squared times 2 squared. And then we could break the single radical into two separate radicals. Now the square root of 19 squared is simply 19, and the square root of 2 squared is 2. So the answer is going to be 19 times 2, which is equal to 38. And so the square root of 1,444 is 38. And you could check it. 38 squared is equal to 1444. Thus, factoring is one of many methods that you could use to find the square root of a large number. Now, let's work on another example. Calculate the square root of 4,096. Feel free to pause the video and work on this example. So let's break down this number into smaller numbers. Let's begin by dividing 4,096 by 2. So 40 divided by 2 is 20, and half of 96 is 48. So 4096 is 2048 times 2. Now let's break it down even further. Half of 20 is 10, half of 48 is 24. Half of 10 is 5, half of 24 is 12. And then we could divide it by 2 again. Now, 512 divided by 2. 500 divided by 2 is 250. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So adding the two numbers, we get 256. 256 is a perfect square. 16 times 16 is 256. So we have two 16s, which we can write as 16 squared. And then we have four twos. If you multiply 2 four times, that's equal to 16. So we have the square root of 16 squared times the square root of 16. The square root of 16 squared is simply 16. And the square root of 16 is 4. 16 times 4 is 64. So this is the answer right here. The square root of 4096 is equal to 64. Or you could say that 64 squared is 4096. 96. So as you can see, this method does work. It does require some time and patience, but you could find the square root of a large number using uh, the factoring method. For the sake of practice, let's work on another example. Find the square root of 11,664. So let's begin by dividing this by 2. So what is half of 11,664? What I'm going to do is break it down into small numbers. This is 10,000 plus 1,600 plus 64. Half of 10,000 is 5,000. Half of 1,600 is 800. Half of 64 is 32. So this is going to be 5832. Now, half of 58 is 29. Half of 32 is 16. Now let's divide it by 2 again. Now 29 doesn't go evenly, so let's break that up into 2800 plus 100 plus 16. It will be easier to divide this number by 2 that way. Half of 2800 is 1400. Half of 100 is 50. Half of 16 is 8. So we're going to get 1458. And then we're going to divide it by 2. Half of 14 is 7. Half of 58 is 29. 
Now, 729 is 9 to the third power. So you can divide it by 9, and you'll get 81. And then 81 is, I'm running out of space, 9 times 9. So we have a total of three nines. So we can say 9 to the third, and we have four twos. So I'm going to write this as 9 squared times 9 to the first power. And 2 to the fourth power, we can just make that equal to 16. So we have the square root of 9 squared times the square root of 9 times the square root of 16. The square root of 9 squared or the square root of 81 is just 9. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 16 is 4. So we have 3 times 4, which is 12. And then 9 times 12. 9 times 10 is 90. 9 times 2 is 18. 90 plus 18 is 108. So the square root of 11,664 is 108. So that's one method in that you could use to find the square root of a large number.